Hello, my peeps. <laughs> no. Hello, my friends. Uh, Leviticus 16, the Day of Atonement. Now, the Lord spoke to Moses after the death of the two sons of Aaron, when they offered profound fire before the Lord and died. And the Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron his brother not to come come at just any time in a holy place inside the veil before the mercy seat which is on the ark lest he die for I will appear in the cloud above the mercy seat thou Saren shall come in the holy place with the blood of a young bull as a sin offering and of a ram as a burnt offering he shall put the holy linen, linen tunic and the linen trousers on his body he shall be guarded with a linen sash and with a linen turban. He shall be attired. These are the holy garments. Therefore he shall wash his body in water and put them on. And he shall take from the congregation of children of Israel two kids of goats as sin offerings and one gra one ram one gram <laughs> not one gram, one ram a burnt offering and shall offer the bull as a sin offering which is for himself, and make an atonement for himself for his house. He shall take the two goats and present them before the Lord at the door of the tabernacle meet. Then Aaron shall cast lots for the two goats, one lot for the Lord and the other lot for the scapegoat. And Aaron shall bring the goat on which the Lord's lot fell, and offer as a sin offering. But the goat on which the lot fell to be the scapegoat shall be presented alive before the Lord, to make an atonement upon it, and to let it go as the scapegoat into the wilderness. And Aaron shall bring the bowl of the sin offering which is for himself, and make an atonement for himself for his house, and shall kill the bull as the sin offering which is for himself. And he shall take a censer full of burned coals, fire from that altar before the Lord with his hands full sweet incense, beaten fine, and bring it into the bring it inside the veil. And he shall put the incense on the fire before the Lord, that the cloud of incense may cover the mercy seat that is on the te testimony. Least he die. He shall take some of the blood of the bowl and sprinkle it with his fingers on the mercy seat. And on the east side and before the mercy seat he shall sprinkle some of the blood with his fingers seven times. Then he shall kill the goat of the sin offering, which is for the people. Bring its blood inside the veil. Do with, do with that blood as he did with the blood of the bull, and sprinkle on the mercy seat before the seat, mercy seat. So he shall make an atonement for the holy place because of the unclean cleanliness of the children of Israel because of transgress, transgressions. For all their sins. And so he shall do for the tabernacle meaning which remains among them in the midst of the uncleanness. There shall be no man in the tabernacle meaning when he goes in to make atonement for the holy place. Until he comes out that he make atonement for himself, for his household, and all the assembly of Israel. And he shall go out to the altar that is before the Lord and make Atonement for it, and shall take some of the blood of the bull and some of the blood of the goat, and put it on the horns of the altar all around. Then he shall sprinkle some of the blood on it with his finger seven times, cleanse it, concentrate, consecrate it from the uncleanness of the children of Israel. And when he has made an atonement for the holy place, the tabernacle, ming, and the altar, he shall bring the live goat. Aaron shall lay both his hands on the head of the live goat, confess over it all the intranquilities of children of Israel and all their transgress transgressions concerning all the sins, putting them on the head of the goat, and shall sin away in the wilderness by the hand of suitable man. The goat shall bear itself all the tranquilities to an uninhabited land, and he shall release the goat in the wilderness. Then Aaron shall come in the tabernacle meeting, and shall take off the linen garments which he had put put on when he went into the holy place, and shall leave them there. And he shall wash his body with water in the holy place, put on his garments, come out, and offer his burnt offering 
and a burnt offering people, and make an atonement for himself and for the people. The fattest sin offering he shall burn on altar, and he who who released the goat as a scapegoat shall wash his clothes, bathe his body in water, and afterward he may come in the camp. The bull for the sin offering, the goat for the sin offering, whose blood was brought in to make atonement in the holy place, shall be carried outside the camp. And they shall burn in the fire their skins, their flesh, and their offal. Then he who burns them shall wash his clothes and bathe his body in water. Afterward he, afterward he may come in the camp. This shall be a stature forever for you. In the seventh month, on the tenth day of, of the month, you shall afflict your souls and do no work at all, whether a native of your own country or a stranger who dwells among you. For on that day the priest shall make an atonement for you, to cleanse you, that you may be cle clean from all your, all your sins before the Lord. It is a Sabbath of solemn rest for you, and you shall afflict your souls. It is a stature forever. And the priest who is anointed and consecrated to minister as the priest in his father's place shall make an atonement and put on linen linen cloths, linen clothes, that the holy garments. Then he shall make atonement for the holy sanctuary, and he shall make atonement for the tabernacle meeting, and for the altar. And he shall make atonement for the priests, and for all the people assembly. This shall be everlasting stature for you, to make atonement for the children of Israel for all their sins once a year. And he did as the Lord had commanded Moses. Okay, hold on a minute, hold on a <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm trying to turn the page because there's a thing back here. Uh, there we go. Word decoder, scapegoat. A goat whose head, whose head the high priest confessed the people's sin on Day of Atonement. The goat then symbolically carries the sin away from the people in the desert. Digging in. 16, 1 through 34, Day of the Atonement. Because God loves you, he takes away your sins. God taught the, taught the Old Testament people this truth in a special ceremony called the Day of the Atonement. On this day, which came only once a year, the high priest would take the blood of sacrifice, sprinkle it in the most holy place of the tabernacle. The sacrifice was a bull and a goat. Then the high priest would lay his hands on another goat and send away in the desert. By laying his hands on this goat, the high priest would show that the sins of the people were being carried away. The Old Testament ceremony is just a picture of what Jesus has done for you. He is your high priest, and he has carried the blood of his sacrifice in heaven for you. He also has carried away your sins forever, if you have trust in him as your Savior. So yes, that was basically, I'm probably going to answer, but that answered that stuff for me. So I'm going to go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, help this message reach people. Help me continue to read and help it to grow. Help more people look at uh, the Bible and reading the chapter of the Father. In Jesus' heavenly name, amen. Talk to you guys later.